Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayush and today I'm going to answer some of your questions. So before we get into the Q&A, uh, I just wanted to share that uh, this time we have some really great questions to answer and uh, I'm already very excited to answer them and I have a good feeling about this that um, this Q&A will be a, a good one to watch. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So our first question of the day is um, from Krish Midha. He asks, uh, will you do a live stream sometime so that is uh, your viewers can chat? Uh, also, can you do some Infinity War superhero tutorials? I am looking forward to your 60k special. I know it's going to be great. Keep it up. Well, uh, thank you uh, and um, yes, uh, there will be a live stream in future but it's not decided, I have not, um, like it's not fixed yet uh, when it's going to be but I am definitely going to do a live stream uh, and I am also getting a lot of requests from you guys uh, uh, in my uh, videos and comments that do a live stream. Uh, so I am already um, excited to do a live stream in future uh, and it, it will happen for sure and the best part will be uh, I will be able to share each and everything what uh, I am uh, drawing and uh, how uh, I am um, executing it and uh, I can give tips and tricks at the same time so yeah live stream will be a lot of fun and um, it will happen and for your next question uh, for superhero tutorials um, yes, I will try my best to make uh, to superhero tutorials in future though I have made only one drawing of Spider-Man yet but uh, I'll try my best and that was the first question of the Q&A uh, I think we have a great start already um, so let's move on to our next question it is um, who's your favorite Boku no Hero character? Hmm, that's quite difficult because uh, there are a lot of good characters which I like but if I uh, choose if I have to choose only one then I think I'll go for um, um, Shoto Todoroki yeah Shoto Todoroki for Q&A uh, how do you get this much time from making these awesome drawings because my parents scold me for giving my some time in drawing <laughs> okay um, so I am um, pursuing drawing as a career currently and basically uh, I'm drawing to uh, make a living so uh, yeah that's why I am able to uh, dedicate myself and dedicate uh, so much of time uh, to my drawings. Hey Ayush, a question for Q&A. So uh, the previous video you said you did hotel management uh, but I'm curious to know what do you do for a living because I just recently gave my SCC and uh, I would like to become an artist you inspired me to open a channel too uh, although I'm not that good uh, keep, keep up the good work sorry for uh, such a big comment but I know you are so kind that you will read this line too and this too <laughs> I guess you know me very well hmm uh, okay so your question is uh, what do I do for a living? Yeah, like like I said just now, I am drawing and pursuing this uh, as a career. So I'm uh, drawing for making a living, and I feel really happy and I'm glad that I could motivate you and I could be an inspiration to someone. Uh, it just makes me very happy. Uh, thank you. That's really generous of you. And uh, you said you uh, just gave your S. Uh, CC, I guess that that is uh, that means you are in school right now, um, and you want to become uh, artist. Well, that's great, and you can just uh, keep drawing uh, what you enjoy, what you love, and you always have a choice to make. So when when it's the right time to make the choice to whether become an artist or become something else, you can always choose because uh, you know life is really short, and you get it only once. So uh, do what you love, uh, do what you enjoy and I would say uh, all the best. Can you explain how you got to this stage, uh, all the schools you have gone to and uh, like that? Um, by this I think you mean um, you mean uh, any art school or uh, any art courses I guess. Uh, okay I'll consider that. 
Um, uh, I haven't gone to any art school. Uh, I have mentioned this uh, in my earlier videos too. I've never gone to any art school or uh, I've not even um, uh, gone for any art courses. So basically I'm a self-taught artist. And like I said earlier, uh, I enjoyed drawing since uh, the beginning and I just kept drawing and uh, that led me uh, to here where I am today. Do you think that people are born with drawing talent or everyone starts out the same? Um, no, I don't think uh, people are born with a talent. It's just um, uh, the matter of time, uh, the amount of time you spend in your skill, the more time you spend with yourself with uh, harnessing your uh, skill, the more, uh, the faster you grow, the better you get at your skill. And yes, uh, everyone starts with the same level uh, from the zero. Um, it's just like I said, the matter of amount of time you spend and amount of efforts, consistency, uh, so these things play a major role on uh, defining how good you are at uh, your skill. What is your favorite anime series? Um, uh, there are so many good animes but if, uh, if I have to choose one, it would be Naruto. Do you think you will uh, ever give up on drawing? Never. Uh, I don't think I will ever give up on drawing because first of all, I uh, am enjoying uh, drawing so much. I have always enjoyed drawing. Uh, it's a lot of fun to draw your favorite anime characters and, and it, it's even more fun when you can uh, draw well, right? <laughs> and also there is one more reason that I would never give up uh, on drawing which is um, you guys. Now uh, I have found you guys who you know um, who, who love my work and look forward to more of my uh, drawings, uh, my artwork. So th this is a very strong reason for me uh, because uh, it motivates me a lot. Uh, it uh, helps me to, uh, to, to do better, to draw uh, more every time I draw. And it just makes me feel so good every time I realize that um, there are a uh, few people who, uh, who look forward to my work and they like my work so that is also one of the uh, main reasons why I will never give up on drawing. What is your favorite sport? There are so many sports that I love. Uh, uh, I have also been uh, always a uh, sportive... Sportive? Is that a word? I don't know. Uh, athletic? Sportsman, yeah, sportsman. I have always been a sportsman. No, <laughs> ah, I have always been a person who uh, loves sports. But uh, one of my most favorite sports uh, ever has been uh, martial arts. Uh, yes, martial arts. Uh, I have uh, always enjoyed doing, uh, practicing it, and uh, it is still a lot of fun. And currently, one of my favorite sport uh, is chess because lately. I've been playing chess a lot and I'm uh, enjoying that too. So uh, yeah, chess and martial arts. What are your uh, top three favorite anime? Okay, um, top three favorite anime. First is Naruto. Uh, second is Attack on Titans. Um, third will be, um, that's quite difficult. But I guess Boku no Hero. Yeah, so these three. Animes Naruto, Attack on Titans, Boku no Hero are my top 3 favorite animes. Was there a point in your life where you found a huge motivation to draw? As in uh, you weren't drawing a lot or you always thought your uh, drawings were bad so you didn't do it as much. My motivation is you by the way, keep up the good work. <laughs> That's so sweet of you. Uh, that makes me very happy by the way. And uh, yes, there was a point where uh, I was not so motivated to draw. Um, I guess I mentioned this earlier. I don't know. I don't remember. But yeah, there was a point. There were a couple of years. Um, I think there were uh, five to six, four to five years. I guess four to five years of gap when where I uh, totally left drawing and uh, I was not drawing at all. Um, uh, I don't know, mainly because I was not enjoying it uh, so much and my uh, interests had changed by time 
I think that yeah that was the reason I was not drawing so uh, the point where I found the motivation to draw again and to pick up uh, my skill again was in my um, second year yes in my second year of uh, of graduation so what happened is basically uh, at that time in second year when i was in second year i started realizing uh, that uh, after one more year that is after uh, completing the graduation i will be on my own and i'll have to um, you know do us uh, i'll have to pick up a certain job to continue um, as a career to pursue as a career and at that time i was not in touch with drawing at all uh, i was more focused on uh, completing my degree which was hotel management and i was uh, ready to uh, pick up uh, a job in uh, I, i mean in hotel industry in fact uh, towards the end of my graduation which is after uh, almost after completing the third year I uh, already had four um, yeah four um invitations from different uh, hotels to you know uh, to get a job I mean I gave interviews in several hotels and uh, four of uh, the hotels accepted um, uh, and were ready to uh, give me a job uh, in their hotel but let's go back in second year because uh, I started to draw again at that time uh, in second year uh, because the main reason behind it uh, and the motivation uh, factor for me to start my uh, drawing again and to pick up pick up my lost interest again was actually fear yes uh, it was fear uh, i'll tell you how so i was um, afraid to work for others i was afraid to uh, not have a dream of my own and at that till that time i actually didn't have had any uh, dream and uh, because i was not really I, i never actually gave a thought but as uh, as time was passing by and i was reaching closer to the reality uh, closer to my uh, graduation uh, i had only one year uh, in my hand and uh, i was uh, as the time was passing i was realizing okay now uh, things are getting serious and uh, i just have one year in my hand and then i'll be uh, i'll be inside a hotel uh, uh, you know uh, working as a, probably working as a front desk uh, assistant yeah that's what i chose uh, in my third year as a special specialist um, course so yes i was scared to uh work for others and also i was scared to lose my skill forever because if i had joined uh, the hotel industry uh, uh if i had took if i took that job then i would lose my uh, skill forever which i didn't want to and um uh, that fear made me um uh, to pick up my drawing skills again and uh, i i told myself i challenge myself that uh i have only one year in my hand and uh, um i i have only one year in my hand and i uh, i had to do something i had to do something which uh which uh, can uh, increase my hopes uh to you know make art as my career i didn't wanted to lose my skills in any cause because i had spent so much of time developing it and i really enjoyed it so much i wanted to do, uh, continue it and if i uh, if i uh, took the job i wouldn't have able to continue drawing i still remember that time when uh, i was trying to uh, get my drawing skills back uh, just because i didn't wanted to work for others i wanted to work for myself and Uh, also i didn't wanted to lose my drawing skills i wanted to continue um though i had left uh, drawing but i knew that it was a skill inside me and i did not wanted to waste it honestly uh, i would have felt so bad uh, if i had taken the job uh, because uh, then i would lose uh, my skill uh, forever and i would not be able to continue 
uh, drawing and at that time uh, I decided that I would not let my skills become a waste so I started to draw again and uh, at the same time I was uh, trying to find a way of making art as a career and at that time I came across to YouTube and I decided to upload uh, my drawing videos uh, in YouTube and uh, in hope that someday um, uh, you know within that one year I do something good so that I can tell my parents uh, okay I want to pursue this as a uh, career so uh, let's not go in very detail otherwise the Q&A will become quite long it has already uh, been a long time I'm answering this quick question uh, so yeah that was the basically that was the uh, point uh, that was the motivational point where I uh, started to you know draw again but it's not like I was not enjoying as soon as I started I uh, I enjoyed my each and every sketch uh, a lot and that is why I kept doing more and more and more and more and uh, here I am it's not like I have achieved a lot uh, I still have a long way to go uh, but I am happy with uh, what I am doing currently uh, even if I'm, I don't achieve something very big but this is, a, this is itself this itself is a very big achievement for me you know to uh, being able to do what I love and what I really enjoy so yeah that was the answer uh, I'm really sorry if it uh, became quite big but um, yeah I tried my best and uh, it makes me very feel very good when uh, you know uh, when you guys say that I uh, I am uh, a motivation uh, a motivational factor for you guys you know to draw uh, because uh, when uh, I read this question there were a uh, few responses be below this question which uh, which are which is basically this so I just wanted to share this also because I felt so good. Uh, after reading the question also and also the uh, response uh, the next few sentences comments which you guys uh, um, posted so here basically uh, someone else named as Saiyan Tube shared uh, that uh, well actually this happened to me and I sort of gave up and stopped it but then I saw this channel and the fact uh, he is also Indian like me and does such godly drawings motivated me a lot so I started drawing again so that was I was talking about that that is so sweet and that is that just melts my heart that makes me so happy and then the person who asked the question uh, named as it's crypt um, replied uh, exactly I honestly didn't draw a ton or I always hated my drawings for some minor mistake but uh, watching him made me realize it didn't matter. His content is amazing. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It just, um, it, it's just, it's amazing, you know. It, it feels so good that um, uh, just pursuing what I am enjoying, just, just pursuing what I really uh, love to do has affected uh, so many of you to uh, you know to draw so uh, I just want to say thank you so much for being such an awesome support for being such an awesome uh, viewer um, it means the world to me and that wraps our Q&A uh, I hope you enjoyed this Q&A because I enjoyed a lot answering them these were some of the best questions asked ever. So thank you everyone who ever asked uh, questions in my previous video. And uh, there were a lot of, a lot more questions which I wanted to answer but I couldn't because uh, the video will just become uh, very long. So I'm really sorry to those whose questions I couldn't answer. But um, let's try to answer them in my next Q&A video which will be next month. So save your questions for the next Q&A video uh, and I'll try my best to answer them. If you like this video then do drop a like uh, and leave your comments in the uh, comment section below. And if you're not subscribed yet then subscribe for more awesome drawings, tutorials, Q&As and more. Also ring the bell so that you get notified whenever I'm on YouTube. You can even follow me at Twitter, Instagram and Facebook at Ayush Pencil Art to get my daily updates and uh, I'll be also sharing the links down below so go check them out. And before going my next video will probably be a 60k special video because we are about to hit 60,000 subscribers on YouTube which is again a great milestone so I'll see you all in my next video bye bye